Let us continue with the same concept of Roman numbers. What we have to do is, uh, we have to keep in mind two things in Roman numbers that i that is 1 can be subtracted from v and x only means 1 can be subtracted from 5 and 10 only and 10 can be subtracted from l and c that is 50 and 100 only now let us move to the next exercise 1.4 related to the roman numbers only uh, you will do this at your homes you will practice it but let us do a quick review on this multiple choice question which of the following is not correct we have given as 10 as vv is not equal to matlab we we know that 10 we can write it as uh, x so this is not equal so this is correct Fi 51 we can write it as 50 minus 1 but this is wrong what we have to do is we have to write 1 after 50 to add in that so this is not correct so the correct option is this now the second part is what is this stands for this will be uh, L minus 10, 40, 5, 6, 7. So it becomes 47. So the correct option is D. So now move to the second question. Fill in the box with le greater than, less than or equal to sign. We have to compare them and we have to put the less than, greater than or equal to sign. Uh, let us talk about the second part. We have given 10 plus 10, 20 plus 10 minus 1, 9. That is 20. 9 and this is 10 plus 10 plus 10 30 plus 1 31 so 31 is greater than 29 so this is greater than this rest of the part will be uh, tried by the students now move to the third question write the following in the roman numbers students have to write all the numbers in the roman form uh, let me tell you about the uh, 10th uh, part that is 49 how we will write 49 what we have to do is we have to write is at 40 plus 9 how we will uh, write 40 we will write 50 minus 10 so xl is 40 and how we will write 9 10 minus 1 that is ix is 9 so the 49 is xl ix now students will try all other parts now move to the question number 4 write the following hindu arabic numerals we have to write all the numbers in hindu arabic numbers let us talk about the uh, 13th part we have given x l v and i this is the first number and this is the second number x l is 50 minus 10 40 and v i is 5 plus 1 6 so it becomes 46 now students will try this exercise on your own now let us move to the next concept of the next exercise now let us uh, move to the exercise 1.5 1.5 is all related to the word problem so there is nothing new concept concept of the previous exercise we will apply here now first question let us talk about the first question population of mumbai in 2001 was 3 crore 42 lakh 69123 it is increased by 62,98,313 in next two years. From 201 to next two years means 2002 and 2003. Now we are here in 2003. But 19,42,639 migrated to Delhi. What is given in the question? Uh, we have given in 2001 the population of Mumbai was this. And in the next two years, the population increased by this. But out of all, 19 lakh and this uh, people were migrated from Mumbai to Delhi. So what is the exact population in 2003? What, that we have to find out. So population in 2001 is 3 crore 42 lakh 69,123. How much population increased? 62,98,333. So the increased population is we have to add them. After adding, the increased population is 4 crore 5 lakh 67,436. But some people are migrated from Mumbai to uh, Delhi. So we have to subtract that. So how many population is migrated? 19,42,633. So exact population in 2003 is increased population minus population migrated we have to subtract them 
After subtraction, what we will get is three crore eighty six lakh twenty four thousand nine hundred and seventy ninety seven. Now move to the question number two. A machine produces nine thousand six hundred twenty three screws in a day, and after the one month, one month of thirty days. These screws distributed among five dealers. How many screws does each dealer get? एक मशीन है जो एक दिन में नाइन थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी थ्री स्क्रीज प्रोड्यूस करती है जब वन मंथ कंप्लीट हो जाता है तो जितने भी स्क्रीज हमारे प्रोड्यूस हुए होते हैं वो हमने फाइव डीलर्स के अंदर डिस्ट्रीब्यूट कर दिए एंड हमें ये बताना है कि हर एक डीलर को कितने स्क्रीज मिले तो स्क्रूज जो हमारे एक दिन में प्रोड्यूस हुए हैं स्क्रूज प्रोड्यूस इन अ डे इज नाइन थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी थ्री सो हाउ मेनी स्क्रूज प्रोड्यूस इन थर्टी डेज वेन वी हैव टू गिवन द स्क्रूज फॉर वन डे एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड इन थर्टी डेज फ्रॉम स्मॉलर टू लार्जर वी आर गोइंग देन वी हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई दैम सो नाइन थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी so screws produced in 30 days or in one month is 288690 these are the total screws produced in the one day now we have to distribute them to the five dealers so when we have to distribute them uh, in five dealers we have to divide it by 5 so we will divide the total screws by 5 we will get the number of screws per dealer get that is After dividing two lakh eighty eight thousand six hundred and ninety by five, we will get fifty seven thousand seven hundred and thirty eight. Hence, the number of screws each tailor gets is fifty seven thousand seven hundred and thirty eight. Now move to the third part. If a student multiplies one fifty by sixteen instead of fifty, the difference of the product is. वी हैव टू फाइंड द डिफरेंस एक स्टूडेंट ने क्या किया कि वन फिफ्टी को सिक्सटीन से मल्टीप्लाई कर दिया बट करना था वन फिफ्टी को फिफ्टीन से तो जो दोनों से मल्टीप्लाई करके आंसर आता है हमें उनका डिफरेंस निकालना है मीन्स वन फिफ्टी को सिक्सटीन से मल्टीप्लाई करके हमें डिफरेंस करना है वन फिफ्टी को फिफ्टीन से मल्टीप्लाई करके वी कैन सी वन फिफ्टी इज कॉमन इन बोथ सो वी विल टेक वन फिफ्टी आउटसाइड बट वी विल हैव हेयर इज सिक्सटीन एंड आफ्टर वन फिफ्टी इज कमिंग आउटसाइड हेयर आई हैव ओनली फिफ्टीन So sixteen minus fifteen is one. So one fifty multiplied by one is equal to one fifty. Now move to the question number five. Second, third, and fourth question. Uh, students will try. I will share the notes along with in the PDF. Now the question number five is a vessel has four liter five hundred milliliter of curd. In how many glasses each of twenty five milliliter capacity can it be filled? One vessel has उसके अंदर फोर लीटर फाइव हंड्रेड मिली लीटर कर्ड है हमें उस वेसल से ग्लासेस में कर्ड फिल करनी है और एक ग्लास में ट्वेंटी फाइव मिली लीटर कैपेसिटी आ सकती है कर्ड की सो so, हम पूरे वेसल से कितने ग्लासेस फिल कर सकते हैं सो कर्ड इन द वेसल इज फोर लीटर फाइव हंड्रेड मिली लीटर वी ऑलरेडी नो दैट वन लीटर इज इक्वल टू थाउजेंड मिली लीटर इट मीन्स फोर लीटर इज इक्वल टू फोर इन टू थाउजेंड फोर थाउजेंड मिली लीटर सो फोर लीटर फाइव हंड्रेड मिली लीटर इज इक्वल टू फोर थाउजेंड फोर लीटर इज फोर थाउजेंड प्लस फाइव हंड्रेड दैट इज फोर्टी फाइव हंड्रेड मिली लीटर वाई वी कन्वर्ट इट इन द मिली लीटर बिकॉज द कैपेसिटी ऑफ ग्लास इज गिवन इन मिली लीटर सो और द कैपेसिटी ऑफ वन ग्लास इज ट्वेंटी फाइव मिली लीटर टू फाइंड हाउ मेनी ग्लास इज वी कैन फिल सो वट वी हैव टू डू इज वी हैव टू डिवाइड द टोटल a curd in the vessel by the capacity of one glass that is 4500 divided by 25 after dividing 4500 by 25 we will get answer as 180 so we can fill 180 glasses from the given curd hence 180 glasses can be filled from 4 liter 500 ml of curd now let us move to the seventh question sixth question uh, students will try A car travels thirteen kilometer five hundred meter in an hour and consumes one liter of petrol every six kilometer. A car a घंटे में thirteen kilometer five hundred meter का distance cover कर लेती है और जब वो six kilometer का distance cover करती है तब one liter of petrol हमारा खर्च होता है. 
एक सिक्स किलोमीटर डिस्टेंस कवर करने के बाद कितना खर्च होता है हमारा पेट्रोल वन लीटर सो वट वी हैव टू फाइंड हाउ मच डिस्टेंस विल इट ट्रेवल इन एट आवर्स सो अकॉर्डिंग टू द फर्स्ट पार्ट डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल्ड इन वन आवर इज थर्टीन किलोमीटर फाइव हंड्रेड मीटर Hi, I have to find the distance in eight hours. So distance travelled in eight hours. We are moving from one to eight, smaller number to larger number. So we will multiply thirteen kilometer five hundred meter by eight. So when we multiply thirteen hundred thirteen kilometer and five hundred meter by eight, eight zero the zero, eight zero the zero, eight five the forty, zero here four carry, eight three the twenty four plus four twenty eight. Eight here two carry, eight on the eight plus two ten. So how many distance it will cover in eight hours is one hundred and eight kilometer. Now the second part is how much petrol will it consume? कि एक लीटर पेट्रोल हमारा six किलोमीटर में use होता है. तो हमारा eight hours में हम इतना किलोमीटर move करें तो हमारा पेट्रोल कितना लगा होगा? Petrol consumed for six किलोमीटर is one liter. Firstly, I have to find the petrol for one kilometer. When we are moving from greater to smallest, what I have to do is I have to divide. So we have to divide one by six. So petrol consumed for six kilometer is one liter, and the petrol consumed for one kilometer is one by six liter. Now I have to find the petrol consumed for one hundred eight kilometer. That is one hundred eight multiplied by one by six. One hundred eight multiplied by one, one hundred eight, and divided by six. When we divide one hundred eight by six, we will get eighteen. So the petrol consumed for one hundred eight kilometer is eighteen liters.